This is love. <laughs> Reaching out for signs. You and me as one. Everywhere this is love. Down, Devon Adarabi, WeeWeeBlogs.com. It is such a pleasure meeting you. I have and to say, mine. Greeks do it right. <laughs> the Grand Hyatt in Kiev, on point. Yep, exactly. I love the way you roll. <laughs> Behind us is this fabulous view. Sammy, can you capture? I mean, it's like it's we don't even need to leave this hotel to get a sense of Kiev. That's true. And I have been stalking you on Instagram, I must admit, <laughs> you know? For many years, you know, if you're not performing with Dima Bilan, you are having dinner with Annie Lorac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was a pleasure, honestly. And she actually had a lot of advice to give me, and that's precious at this moment, because um, she told me what everybody tells me, that uh, everybody that has participated in the past in the Eurovision, enjoy it. Get up on stage and feel confident and enjoy it, because it's... It's a one-in-a-lifetime experience. That's what I have in mind, and I'm trying to get the most out of it. You seem to have a really strong Russian connection, though, because um, Falling was also a big yes. hit in um, Russia and Ukraine as well. Yep. It had a lot of airplay in Ukraine. How did that come about? And, well, tell me first of all, how did that yeah, come about? Yeah, we, we actually released the song then, uh, back then, Falling. It, I think it's, um, it is a sound that... Um, that Russians listen to. I think that's why it, be, it actually became number one in Russia. And I didn't realize until I came to this festival, Europa Plus, and I heard people singing the song. So I was like, okay, yeah, it was number one because I, I couldn't realize it before that. Because I know you from poses, but that's good. You have a catalog, hey? <laughs> <laughs> so now that you're now that russia is not here though yeah. how does that ring for you because surely one of eurovision's experiences is to connect with as many especially yeah. russia where you have a strong connection yeah i think it would be perfect if everybody was here but um i trust the bu i don't know exactly what has happened but i trust that everything has happened for a reason i'm not i don't know all the facts so i couldn't say what is fair or what would be fair but I'm sure everything happened for a reason. I, I don't know. Just like your music video, which was filmed in Odessa. How did exactly. that happen? Exactly. Um, Odessa is uh, really connected to Greece. The, um, the uh, um, War of Independence started from there. It's, it's the reason that uh, the people that started the war from Odessa are the reason that we are a free nation. So. It, it is a really important place for us, and it, it is a beautiful place like Kiev. So it was great for us to film there. And it's Ukraine. Your vision is in Ukraine, so it was perfect. And we had a like I, I stayed in Kiev for one night, and I felt that I was in Hayat then. So I felt that I would come back for your vision then, and it was really touching too. To think about that. I feel like I've just learned a history lesson. I had no <laughs> idea about. Really? I had no idea yeah. about that. Um, your schedule. How do you do it all? Because you were in um, Mamma Mia, yes, playing I Sophie, was. and yes. literally right off the stage onto the plane to fly to Kiev, and you've got all these other bookings. Congratulations. Thank you. This is love. Is actually <laughs> the Greek number one. Yes. The Greek number one, honey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was that was amazing for us because um, it has it hasn't happened for a lot of years now. Mm -hmm. uh, the entry, the Eurovision entry, I think 2005 was the last I time. I think wasn't so it? too. Yeah, so it is a great uh, pleasure, and I'm really happy that in Greece it's a big hit and people love it because I need the support and the love from Greece to to go through all this journey here. So it was. It was great for me. Abba, Mamma Mia, tell yeah. me about that too. You're yeah. going back into it, right, um, after this? I think so. In September, October, we're doing it again. Yeah, because it was a big hit in Greece. Well, it's Abba, it's Mamma Mia. You know it, everybody knows it. The music is amazing. What's your favorite we Abba song? I think it's Waterloo, you know. You are kidding me. Everybody loves Waterloo. It's yeah. one of my least favorites. Really? Yeah. No, the Mamma Mia musical has amazing songs I mean I started with uh, I have a dream and 
every song is amazing in the in the play even the songs I, I didn't sing but we ended the show with Waterloo and I the remember uncle, right? for example everybody from the team from the Eurovision delegation that came to see it we had like we we saw each other during the the time that I sang it and we're like yeah we're going to Eurovision you know I'm singing Waterloo so it's a sign yeah <laughs> so we, I was really happy every time I sang it and you know what else is a sign rain falling from above <laughs> mind you it is a clear beautiful sunny day i think that was an inside joke <laughs> at some point in the eurovision the your fans i think I, I yeah um well that was a lyric that we changed we actually changed the song a lot of times we started with la 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 and then it was rain falls from above but rain falls from above like happened in a night before the national the greek national final and it wasn't something that we were really happy about it so then we were you to sad it to again. lose the line? Sorry? Were you sad to, to lose, lose that the line? line? No, no, I was happy to lose that line. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you engineer the loss of the line? Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, girls, I ain't singing that. You know, yeah, we all wanted it to change. Oh really? Yeah. But then your hair is wet. Yeah. Your <laughs> yeah, we're doing a lot of changes in the hair. We're not sure what what the final picture is going to be in the semi final. Well, you're, watch, you're working with such a good team, yes. aren't you? Aren't yes, you? I am. And I bet you're going to pull more surprises out of the bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you loving the whole experience, the whole I love Eurovision? it. I love it. It's even the first day that we came and slept like a little bit, and then we woke up at 4:30 to be to rehearse at 10. Even that, in my mind, was really hard before I, when I knew that it was going to happen. And then we we went on with um, uh, press and stuff like that. And I was so happy being here. That I realized that even though I was tired, I was really enjoying everything. And it was the first day only, so it's really amazing being here. We on Wibi Blogs were incredibly excited when you were internally picked because we'd actually predicted that Demi would come. The name has been coming up for such a long Hang time on. that, you know, in the Eurovision community, we thought, oh, no, no, she's going to do it, she's going <laughs> to... But, of course, it was different people every year. And then you had three songs. Yeah. Tell us honestly. Was this is love your favorite? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I loved all three of the songs, and that's sincere. Mm -hmm. uh, but and the reason is that we have worked a lot with Dimitris Kodopoulos, so he knows me, and I know him, and he knows your vision. So he definitely, he knows your yeah, vision. I can tell you that much. But he wouldn't um, write songs for me that uh, wouldn't suit me and would only suit your vision. He did the whole thing right. So all three of the songs were really amazing. I I love them. Uh, but This Is Love is really special for me, yeah. It was the one that I wanted. Your stretch limo is waiting downstairs. I have a million questions to ask, <laughs> but we ain't got time. <laughs> but we're going to say goodbye. It's been yeah. such a pleasure speaking to Demi. Mine too. We're going to sing one of your other favorite ABBA songs together. Should we do that? What? Pick it. Well, you're one of your oh, other okay, favorites. Okay, so I'll give it. I can pick it. Um, it's not Waterloo. It's... But you have to help me with the lyrics because I sang it That's every night in Greek. That's fine. Oh, let's make it bilingual, honey. <laughs> <laughs> bilingual. Okay. Mm. Let's sing. Um, I have a dream. Oh, God, you picked the ones I don't like. Oh. Another one, to another one. Me through. No, you're bored, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're so bored. <laughs> you know, I'd rather sing your song. This is love reaching out for the stars. You and me as one. Everywhere, this is love. Your vision is an attitude. It's been Thank such a pleasure. Thank you so much.